Jiggy cat on a damn feeling spree. This is not good, so and you can't mimic my energy. 100 round drum and be hanging like a center. Hey everyone, my name is Nagato's Revenge, and welcome back to the channel for today. For today's video, is going to be on the lines of an, a more obscure topic, and this is only reference to people who actually own PlayStation 3 reference tools, aka DECR 1000A. And today, I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to fix any issues and any common uh, network errors you may be facing with Prodigy for your development unit model. The reason why I am making such a topic of you know of this matter recently, I got my PlayStation 3 development unit in and I wanted to test out some development builds via with the use of Prodigy target manager but for the last two or three days when I was um you know generally messing with the system itself I was having major issues and I couldn't you know figure out why I can't connect with Prodigy target manager but with the help of developer Jeff um I contacted him he told me on how to set everything up and how to basically come back with some common network issues that you um may be facing with this matter so that's why i decided to make a video on this today so special thanks out to developer jeff make sure to follow him on v on twitter but for that being all out the way what i'm going to do is go to the pc showcase all the prerequisites and explain more about this issue so let's go ahead and do that Alrighty guys, so I'm back on the PC as showcased here. On y'all guys and you'll probably see all the prerequisites that we need for today. And what I'm gonna do is read through all the prerequisites um, as I do in all my videos. But before I get into the nitty gritty on how to showcase this process and teach you guys on how to you know successfully set this up, I do wanna state that another reason why I decided to make this video is because there was a lack of information online on how to basically get a reference tool, you know, up and running via with Prodigy Target Manager. Since it's not exactly the same as a jailbroken PlayStation 3 via using with like Dex or something like that, there are some quirks and some extra steps and some tips you need to take um, for this process. Thus, that's why developer Jeff told me it would be a great idea on me, you know, making this tutorial guide since he was originally going to do it but i said hey no worries i'll you know take it from there but with that being all out the way of course you need a playstation 3 decr 1000a reference tool you also need prodigy target manager for today i'm using version 4.20 but any version of prodigy target manager should be fine you should have a ethernet cable and one thing i do want to state make sure your ethernet cable is plugged from your pc to exactly the dev land port and you'll be needing this administrator tool website browser which basically is a browser Browser specially made for your um, target or your reference tool and it allows you to you know update your communication processor um, it allows you to basically change your IP address via for your system and it just has a general uh, you know tools that are specifically made for your DECR and this is the actual um, you know standardized link for this or the IP address which is HTTP uh, semicolon slash slash 192.168.02 and I will actually have a picture of what the development tool website looks like via on the screen right here and i'll get more into that as of right now but what i am actually going to do is boot my ps3 dcr and i'm going to explain some you know common steps that we need to take before um getting this all set up so let's go to the ps3 Alrighty guys, as showcased here, I just turned on my DECR 1000A. So let me just go ahead and showcase what we need to talk about for today. Where it says host name on uh, via with IP address as well, you wanna make sure your host name is set to dev tool and you wanna make sure your IP address is this default IP address. And this is the IP address that um actually comes with the PlayStation 3, or I shouldn't say come, but this is the standardized IP address that every reference tool has. Since this is the IP address that is utilized with the via admin tools web browser and that's what we're going to be setting up today as well for this process along with ProDG. So the question is if your guys basically your host name or your IP address is something different I'm going to show you guys on how to reset your PlayStation 3 reference tool via using the network initiation button on your PS3 and then I'm going to show you on how to reset your IP address but it's very important that your host name is set to dev tool and your IP address is set to 192.168.02 so what I'm going to do now is turn off my console assuming that your guys for example 
people may not have your host name and IP address set up the correct way. I'm going to show you guys exactly right now on what to do. So first things first, what you want to do to your system is just to turn it off. And then what you want to do is just power it off, turn it back on and make sure your Ethernet cable is plugged in via on your PC to your development unit. And that's what I'm going to show you guys now. Before starting this process guys, what you want to also make sure as I stated before is that your ethernet cable is into the developer LAN uh, port on your reference tool. I will have a picture up right now, but what you also want to do is make sure your device is now on. Make sure the status light is, you know, stuck on green. And then what you want to do is hold down the network initialization button and hold that at the same time with the power button and what should happen when you do that it will flash and this is what is going to reset your playstation 3 so your host name will be dev tool and it will have the default ip address which is 192.168.02 so as of right now just let it do its thing and you know keep holding on to it until it stops with the status light and then once it stops as of right now your ip should be changed Alrighty, so we're on the PC as of right now. What you already should have accomplished for this process is that your PlayStation 3's host name is set to DevTool, as well as your IP address is the default IP, which is 192.168.02. Once I edit out this video, I'll probably have a picture somewhere on my screen so we guys are on the same page. Please make sure to check back on your XMB and your XMB, or excuse me, your IP address and your host name are the same for this process because if you try to continue on further, you would not be able to connect to the administrative tools as well. You will not be able to connect to Prodigy Target Manager. But what I am going to do as of right now, first, um, for this process, please make sure that your PlayStation 3 or your no, your reference tool is still on standby and make sure that your development LAN Ethernet cable is plugged into your PC. And I will have a picture of that right now on the screen. So make sure that your Ethernet cable is plugged in both sides from your PC to your actual development LAN unit on your reference tool. But what we need to do as of right now is just go to your Windows 10 search bar right here and you want to type in Ethernet settings. Not too sure why I'm typing in caps, but that's fine for this process. What you want to do as of right now is go to change adapter settings. If everything is all is well, you should see your ethernet cable can, uh, you know, show up into the network connections prompt right here. What you want to do now is go into properties, go into internet protocol version four or IPv4, just hover over that and then go into properties again. And this is the exact IP address and subnet mask you want to have. Just so you be on the same page for this process, all you would have to do, let's say if you, this thing was all blank, is just type in 192.168.0 and then 10 right here. Your subnet mask, I'll just you know showcase this from the beginning. All you gotta do is type in 255. 255 255 0 and your default gateway and your preferred DNS server as well as your alternate DNS server you could have these blank so as long as you have these options right now on the screen and hit OK you're good to go just to verify we're on the same page for this as well go back into properties and make sure that your IP address says um, this exact one right here as well as the subnet mask as long as you verify twice you could close out of this prompt, go into your network connections, and now um, we could go open up any web browser of your choice. I'm just using Google Chrome. And what we're gonna do is type in this IP address via right here. I will have this in the link in the description down below, but this is how we're gonna access our reference tool via what the administrative tool web browser. Please make sure that your PlayStation 3 is on standby um, for this process and it's not powered on via what XMB. So all we gotta do is hit enter. You should already automatically get the screen if you did set up your IP address and your PS3 is, you know, default with that same IP address. Uh, just go ahead and select your language. So if you're Japanese, select that. If you're, you know, you can speak English, select that. Then it will ask you to connect your username and password. Um, I already remembered mine since I did this earlier, but your username and password will be administrative and it will be exactly spelled like this. So all you got to do is just copy this for both and then just sign in. 
and then right now you will have access to the actual development tool web page so i'll kind of you know run around and just showcase some steps or you know some things about the development tool web page um you can update your communication processor you can see that my decr hasn't been updated and its user land is from 0.8.8 .8, so it's pretty old and it hasn't been dated or updated since 2006 uh if I go to the target one, you can see that my device is on this power off state. If I go into brute parameters, you can see that my console is currently on debugger mode. And you can see that my tool setting user process memory is set to console. I'm gonna set that back to tool. Um, if I wanted to change the blue way drive access to the BD emulator or BD drive, I can. Um, my target model, if I wanted to, you know, simulate uh, the HCD of a PS3 from here, I can do that as well. But what I'm going to do is just uh, set my settings and you can see that my parameters has updated. Um, if I go into network, for example, this is how the actual host name is. So if you want to actually specify an IP address and have something custom, you can. But I'm just going to be using um, the official PlayStation 3 reference tool standardized IP address. So if I go to my network right here. You can see that my host name is DevTool, which you guys remember from the PS3. And you can see that my IP address and subnet mask are all of basically the same when we uh, set this up via on the PC side of things. But what we're gonna do as of right now for this process is just minimize out the development tool since this guide really isn't for that. And it's mostly on how to fix general ProDG target manager issues. Make sure of course your PS3 is on standby still. We're gonna open up ProDG target manager. You can already see that I was doing Doing this uh testing for you know today's purpose but what we're going to do is just do this from the beginning so make sure your playstation 3 is on standby uh as well for this process what you want to do is how to connect a reference tool properly make sure your console's on standby once again i know i keep repeating that but what you want to do now is just add a target name you can name it anything i'm going to name mine uh nagato dev not deb but dev and then for right here make sure you on reference tool so if you have a the decr 1400 the one that looks like a regular ps3 then go ahead if you have one that looks like a vcr that came out from the 90s or a dvr go ahead and select this one hit next your ip address will be 192168 and this is just the default one that i was talking about earlier your port will be a 530 do not touch that hit next hit finish and then what should happen you should see your um your name that you just selected um if everything is correct it should automatically detect the um communication process unit and it will detect what firmware you're on once we connect it so if i go ahead and hit connect voila you can see that my playstation 3 is now you know on thing you can see that it's connected and that's essentially on how to do this successfully you just got to connect it via in standby mode and just set your ip to the default one and that's how you can successfully connect to prodigy target manager so if you were trying to run a development build of any type of game you could you know utilize that if you know what you're doing or if you wanted to you know get core dumps or anything like that or you're trying to debug something then you can um utilize this for that reason so for example you can see that my power is off if I were to right click on this uh, right now and go to power control, I could switch this to power on, or I could go into reset mode and set this back into system mode or reset into system software mode. So right now it's resetting. I don't know if you heard that over the mic, but my PS3 did beep. And if I go to my console output right now, you can see that my console is doing all of its um, initializing booting. And if I go ahead and start recording my actual ps3 you can see that um right now on the screen it is doing what it's needing to do for example uh let's say if i wanted to run any application right now i don't know i could run uh multi-man you can see that on the console output side of things it is trying to execute the game from the eboo.bin and um that's basically essentially uh, on how to, you know, connect to Prodigy Target Manager for this process. So assuming that you guys did follow all of the directions, hopefully I did taught you guys on how, or basically did teach you guys on how to set up Prodigy Target Manager correctly. But with that being said, my name is Nagato Revenge, and I hope you guys are having an awesome day for today. 
Hey everyone, it's me Nagato's Adventure. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. With that being out the way as well, I highly do recommend that y'all guys go ahead and follow my social media so you never miss any of the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel by subscribing to me and hitting that notification button as well. It's another method on how you will know when I drop my latest content, whether it be for the Vita, PS4, PS3, and such and so forth. As well, if you want to be in a mix of things and you want to join my official community, you can join via the link right now showcased on the screen and join my my discord that way and if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form you could become a patron i will have a card right now but with all of that getting out the way hope you guys really did enjoy this video and i'll see y'all next time peace